So here I've taken one cup of raw rice and washed it really well under water. And then I'm going to soak this rice overnight for or for at least 12 hours. This is very important that you soak the rice. Now after 12 hours, we are going to uh, drain all the water from the rice. And then I'm going to put this into my mixer or blender pot. Now to that, I'm going to be adding one cup of freshly grated coconut, two teaspoons of sugar and salt to taste. I'm also going to add about one, first I'm going to mix everything really well and I'm going to add one fourth cup of water and grind this to a very thick paste. It should not be very runny but a real thick paste just like an idli paste. This is the consistency we're looking for. Now in the meantime I'm going to take one fourth uh, cup of lukewarm water and I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar to it and mix the sugar in really well into this lukewarm water. The water should not be hot but lukewarm. To that I'm going to add one teaspoon of dry active yeast and I'm going to just leave it without stirring it for about 15 minutes till it doubles in size. Now once the yeast doubles in size, it looks like this. We're just going to add it to our rice paste. We're going to mix it in really well. And then we are going to set this mixture aside for another 8 to 10 hours to ferment. So that's very important that it ferments. Now, once that is done, we're going to prepare our steamer and we're also going to brush these molds that we have. They're just regular vatis. You get actual sanna molds, but I'm just using regular vatis that I have at home. And I'm going to fill these vatis halfway only. Prepare the steamer with enough water in it and let the water start to boil. And then I'm going to place these in the steamer and I'm going to steam them on a very high flame for at least 15 minutes. Now after 15 minutes let the steamer cool to room temperature and then take a knife and just run it through the uh, sanna and it has to come out clean. And then just taking a sharp knife run it around the sanna like this and then just demold it and you'll get these beautiful soft sannas which you can enjoy with chicken chakuti with sorpotel or you can eat just eat them all by themselves so do give this a try guys By, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you'll get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye!